What's up people? Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy way of creating secret or coded folders which you can store basically anything in which require passwords so that no one can access them and they're basically they're very hard like it's not easy to crack into them so you gotta make sure you remember the passwords and this can be done on all new um, OSX um, software basically it's, it's like a built-in feature of Mac that not many people may know about so um, basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the disk utility so this will be found um, here in Mountain Lion or if you can just search for it through Spotlight as well so once the disk utility everything loads up and all the disk information is loaded which should be in a minute um, I'm going to be cl clicking new image here and you can just choose where you want to save it and then give it a name so I'll just give it a test choose a name here this bit doesn't really matter but let's just give it a test again now this bit here is basically these folders that you're creating that are coded they can have as many files as you want as as many things you can delete and add files to them as you wish but you're gonna to have to specify some sort of size you want for them and this size won't be able to get changed once you specified it so if you're thinking of storing like videos and pictures then you might want to specify you know a decent amount of size like two gigabytes maybe or something like that just so you know for the future that it's going to be enough or then don't forget you can always create new folders as you go along but if you want to have one secret folder to keep all your personal pictures videos and so on then just one single clean folder then you know two four six whatever gigabytes you want don't forget that once you create this folder this will actually take that amount this amount of space on your hard drive whether the files are in there or not this two gigabytes of space will be taken from your hard drive so um, in just know that as you're creating it so in this moment I'm just gonna just to keep it simple I'm just gonna do a hundred megabyte one because it's a test now in the format um, it's best to keep it as it is the Mac OS extended journal this bit doesn't really matter either you can even make it MS DOS um, this um, thing here but I'll just keep it as it is right now now the most important two parts of this thing is the image format must be read and write so this will allow you to be able to add and delete files with, um, whenever you want however you want and the encryption you must set an encryption so um, as this one is recommended you know it's it's not as slow and you know it's just simple password I'm just going to set the 128 one, 128-bit AES uh, encryption. Now I'll press create and it will ask me for the password. So for this password I'm just going to type in test, test. And don't forget to um, untick this box here because if this box is ticked what will happen is it will save the password into your computer's keychain so whenever anyone clicks on this folder it will automatically remember the password you don't want to remember the password that's the whole point so untick this set the password that you want and then press OK now once it's created and fully finished it will automatically mount it now the way you to look at this folder will be as if it's a removable mountable disk partition kind of thing. So it's like a USB that you can plug in, imagine. Like you know when you first plug in the USB, this sort of thing comes up and you can eject it just as so. So first let me eject it just to show you how, how it would work in a day to day life. So here is the folder that I have. If I want to access it, it will ask me for a password. Now I type in my password and it mounts the um this partition it's not really a partition but it mounts this thing this file here now i open up the folder and from here i can pretty much just save or so for example if i open my pictures here i can drag that over in there and that's stored in my secret folder now if i was to unmount um, eject this there you go now if i check in here if i click on get info as you can see um, 102 megabytes is being taken because I specified 100 megabytes so as I was saying it will take that amount on disk whether you want it to or not it will take that amount so um, let's say I want to open it again one day click on the thing press test and it mounts it open it up here and there's my picture or file and I can open it straight from the folder without even having to drag it out ever again or anything like that so if I was to click here or open my video my picture whatever I want I don't need to drag this out every time I want to view it it's like it's like, treat it almost as a um, a folder 
I can even create new folders in here to keep it neat and tidy and I can store whatever I want in here and it's protected and basically no one can access it unless they know the password. So once again make sure that whenever you do type in the password um, don't let it save into keychain because that defeats the purpose and that's pretty much it. You can create as many of these as you want as long as your hard drive fits the space and um, yeah there you go. Thank you for watching.